Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shadow and Sun, and today I will be painting Bulbo, as I was doing last week. And I have done some things with it, because there wasn't enough time in the previous video, and there was also some things I didn't realize I wanted to do. But I did do them off camera, but it isn't much. Well, it's kind of a lot, but it isn't much important stuff. He will be making one of the contrast paints. I'm going to be making a, like he said, a red contrast paint while he starts painting the Miniature. eyeball and the backlight with a really cool neon red we picked up. I've already, I've already put the, this is the neon paint that we're using. I've already put the flow aid in the cup. I'm going to be making a small batch of the paint, not the full recipe. Instead of the two milliliter recipe, I'll just be doing a one mil of red ink. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm using this syringe to get the measurements just right. So I'm going to have to look at it, but then I'll show you. These little bottles are kind of a little difficult to work with, I didn't realize, but... And whoop, a little splatter, but hopefully that won't be a big deal. I'm going to get every little drop out I can. And instead of... contaminating the medium with this red, I'm going to pour some out into the second cup and then pull it into the syringe. Into this. Again, just one milliliter of this. I'm going to add just a little bit over the line because I know there was some red still in there. Actually, this is kind of difficult to work with. I wish I had a better way. Hopefully that'll be enough. Definitely want to mix this up good. What do you think? You like that color? It looks good and also most likely is going to work for what we're planning on doing. We probably made too much. Yeah, you but can it. it's really hard to measure less than the full one milliliter. I mean, the syringe does have lines for it, but I think. I think we got this. We keep mixing it until he's ready to use it. I'm going to add one more drop of the flow aid because it seems to be a little thick. Oop, that was two drops. If it's too runny, we'll find out in a minute. That neon looks sharp. That's brighter than I thought it was going to be. Turn it around so we can see the back. That is a cool color.
Okay, I think you're good to go with the red whenever you want to start using it. Which brush do I use for that? Uh, that one after you clean it off. Okay, I cleaned it off, but I'm not sure if it's dry. It's okay. Does it matter? Yeah, it'll be okay. A little, a little tiny, little bit okay, of moisture. Yeah, I have not used this before. It's gonna be. So I'm not 100 percent sure how things work, but they do look good. You like it? Yes, I do. Kind of wish they weren't as purple, because they look extremely purplish. But at the same time. Well, first, is it too runny? No, it's not too runny at all. Well, it does get on like the teeth, but that can be easily fixed. But the the, the actual paint itself, ignoring the color, you know, the color is actually it works. It's just it doesn't seem right, but in reality it is. Well, we can always go over it. Well, gums aren't red. They're, they are they are more of a pinkish color. We can always do a dry brush with pink over it. Yeah. No, the or the they probably change color a bit. But and you can put it on thicker too if you want. Yeah, you know, I'm just doing it for the first coat. Also, I'm surprised how fast you made it. It's not that hard. I just uh, hope I can pour that into a container if there's a lot of extra. I've got a lot of those little bottles that I can put it in. I'm probably gonna. Not, I'm probably not gonna do all of this on camera because. Um, I need to wait for this to dry, but again, I'm not 100% sure how long it takes to dry anyways. Uh, how long does it take to dry? Don't know. I've... You haven't tested it? Yeah, I haven't timed it or anything like that. Well, I'm just going to probably, I'm probably not going to do the underside of this because that's going to no, take a bit more time because it's a very small area to paint, but it's also... Also, I'm not 100% sure uh, if what parts are meant to be biological and which parts aren't. I'm just kind of assuming that some parts are and some parts aren't in the sense of some parts that can be either I just, like some parts that can be interpreted as biological or mechanical, I just do whichever one I feel like having it be. Usually I have it be biological because there's not much of that. Like the bone thing underneath it. But yeah, this paint, these paints, or this paint, because it's only one paint, this do seem really good. I mean, the Xenogenesis cells did look good in the contrast paint. Yeah, I can see from this angle, it does look pretty cool. Yes, it does seem almost like if it, as I've had it described, that it's almost like uh, doing the base coat, I think, huh. and the wash. At the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure if those are the correct things. I might be getting yeah, that, that the is, base coat. It's is, like using the a, incorrect thing. a base coat and a wash at the same okay, time. Okay, base coat is the term I was looking for? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So yeah, I think for now I'm probably only going to do these two parts in this video. Because each video, like, off camera, I'm going to do some stuff that, um, you know, some stuff that off camera. Touch-ups. Yes, I have amazing grammar. A quick reminder for all you Dungeons and Lasers fan, fans, <laughs> I believe Tuesday is when we get the new update and when the uh, pledge manager starts, so we can all put in our orders and then uh, pay our, our dues and oh, roughly... Crap. I've, I painted the wrong thing. I believe 30 days after Tuesday, we will maybe get our legacy items. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's uh, going to be the case. Most of my order for Kickstarter 2 is actually old legacy items. Uh, I, I really like the new stuff. I'm getting the dragons. I'm when you all... when you first saw it, you said it wasn't that good. Well, they're, they're, you know, the stretch goals are a huge selling point for me. 
with Lee. Even though originally they said they weren't that good, but... Well, yeah, they were... The first, you know, items they showed us were wow. largely rocks. So, yeah, I think, I think <laughs> that um, I'm done with the conscious paint for now. Okay. I'll, I'll put that in the bottle so you can use it again when you're going to go back over any areas. Yeah, I'm just going to use, um, I can't tell if the brush is... It needs a little more water. I can see the paint. Yeah. There. And don't, don't be afraid to go all the way to the bottom. When you're cleaning your brush, just when you pull it back out and dry it off, try to get that point back in shape. It's good. Okay, what are you going to paint next? The bones, and that's probably it. Okay. Because I feel like doing some other stuff off camera, and I also feel like uh, letting it dry. More importantly, I feel like letting it dry. Okay, you got your palette there. So I could do, and I've only used two. Okay, I don't expect to need more than that. That is a tiny amount of paint. Well, I, it's a <laughs> tiny amount of area to paint. Okay. Yeah, that. that okay, was... I might need a bit more. Yeah, that really does actually look like gums from over here. I think that's probably it for t for today. It looks a lot better than I expected, mainly because I'm painting it, and I wasn't expecting to do that good. Well, you know. But I was using contrast paints. And well, stuff the like audience that. doesn't know this, but this is your first real full-fledged miniature. Other than those four elementals that I did when I was like three. Yeah. I which wish surprisingly turned out really good. We should we should show those off one of these days. Yeah, I did paint those, right? Yes, you did. Every little how, drop of paint. How, how did I? How old was I? You were about six or seven, maybe? Oh, never mind. That is Max and I still when I was six or seven. I wasn't as smart. So that's it for six. tonight, folks. Like I was saying, Tuesday, I believe, the Pledge Manager opens up, and we will have another video for you guys Tuesday and Thursday. They'll be painting again on Sunday. Next and, Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday. And we hope you guys catch our videos. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, because we're trying to hit... What, 50, 100 subscribers? 50 by is. 50 by Christmas? Yeah, we'd like to hit 50. I don't think 100 is uh, decent. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, 20, if we make 50. 100, we'll, we'll be really happy. If we make 50, we'll still be happy. But either way, we hope you guys are happy. Have a great week, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye.